five alternatives to confronting the narcissist. There's no point confronting the narcissist. They're not even listening to you. They don't care about anything you have to say. Because they're not going to entertain anything that is unfavorable to them. They don't care about what is right or true. They're only concerned with whatever benefits them. One. Do not confront them. If you confront the narcissist, it isn't going to solve anything. It could cause more problems. Narcissists are high conflict people. They engage in behavior that increases conflict rather than reducing it or resolving it. If you confront the narcissist, it will only confirm to you just how toxic they are. It's bad for your health to be around these types of people. So don't even bother confronting them. Then you can avoid the problems that would otherwise come along with it. If you confront the narcissist, they're not just going to look at themselves and realize that they need to change. They think that you're the problem. They can't see anything wrong with themselves. So don't waste your energy confronting them. It's not going to change anything. Two. Use the knowledge and experience you have gained to guide you. You may have watched my videos. And now you understand narcissism. You figure them out. You know what they are. You know why they act this way. And now you want to bring this knowledge to the narcissist. Because you think that it's going to solve something. But the narcissist isn't going to hear it. They're just going to turn it against you. They're going to call you the narcissist. So instead of confronting the narcissist, take the information you've learned and use it to decide what you are going to do next. Use it to help you make decisions in any situations with other people in the future so that you can make better choices. Three, Grey Rock. If you have to communicate with a narcissist, do it in an uninteresting way. Become unresponsive. Or even avoid interactions with a narcissist. Don't share too much information with them, as they will only invalidate it. Don't share your achievements as they will only minimize them. Don't share your feelings with them as they don't have empathy anyway. They will only leave you feeling unheard. So don't share anything significant with them. Four, talk to people who you can trust. 
Talk to people who support you. Talk to people who understand. Whether it's a friend or therapist. If anyone invalidates what you are experiencing, spend less time with them. Go grey rock with them too. You need to surround yourself with people who do get it. People who make you feel understood. Five. Acceptance. You need to accept that this situation is out of your control. But do not judge the situation. You need to manage your expectations and accept them for who they are. And realize that there's really no point in confronting them. Do not confront the narcissist. They're not going to change. They're not going to self-reflect. It's just going to cause a narcissistic injury, which will be followed by narcissistic rage. And their rage will affect other people that you care about, whether it's children, family members or friends. Their rage affects everyone. It will distract you from other aspects of your life. It will cause you anxiety and stress. The narcissist will always be angry and resentful. And there's really nothing you can do to change that. You need to accept that it is not your responsibility to fix them. Focus on protecting yourself. Because the emotional manipulation will make you ill. Sadly, our societal systems are set up to enable these types of people and to put them in positions of power. So you may not get to see them get the punishment that they deserve. But that should not be your focus anyway. Focus on protecting yourself. Focus on self-preservation. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.